Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how to turn yourself into a deer. Step number one, remember that you hate turtlenecks with all of your heart. And then remember that that's the only brown shirt you could find at the studio. So tuck it away and let's get started. First I'm going to be using some concealer just to cover up all these gross spots. Note to self, don't eat really clean for two months and then binge eat candy for about a week. It's never good for the skin. We'll all just ignore the fact that the only reason you dress up during this time of the year is to eat all the candy. Run your concealer over your eyelid, under your eye, anywhere on your face you feel like you want more coverage. Next you're going to go over your face with foundation. I did use a powder foundation. I'm going to be going over my face anyways with the deer colors, so I didn't want to go too heavy with it. When you feel like you have as much coverage as you want, grab a matte brown and a fairly stiff brush. This one I'm using is from the Urban Decay Naked Basics palette. Put a very thick line underneath each eye. With this look, it's okay if your line isn't perfect. In fact, a little bit smudged looks better. Repeat the step on your other eye. Using the same shade of brown, cover up each eyelid from eyelashes to about halfway up. Using your foundation sponge, clean up any dusting that fell on your cheeks. Using one of the lighter colors from that same palette, I'm going to be filling in from the crease of my eye all the way up to my eyebrow, blending the two together with windshield wiping motions. Also in this palette is one shimmer color used to highlight the inner corners of your eye. You can use any type of highlighting eyeshadow you might have though. So after you get your inner corners, you're gonna go ahead and lighten up right underneath your eyebrow. I wanted to blend the light and dark together a little bit more, so I went in with the mid-brown tone and just kind of faded the two together a bit more. Now we're gonna go in with a white eyeliner pencil and pretty heavily line your waterline on both eyes. That'll give you that wide-eyed doe look. This part is where it gets a little bit more detailed. Start with the top inner corner of your eye and draw a line down towards your nose. Not too far, maybe about a half an inch. Then you're gonna connect your bottom waterline to your top in that corner, kinda like you're drawing an arrow. Repeat on the other side, keeping it as even as possible. Next, we're gonna fill in our eyebrows. I'm using the second to the darkest color of the Naked Basics palette. Fill in your brows a little bit darker than you would on a daily basis. Also, I'm going with more of a rounded shape today instead of doing such a dramatic sharp angle. Next, I'm using the Urban Decay Smoked Palette, and you're gonna use the darkest brown. It's also a matte, but I wanted my eyes to be a little bit darker than what they were. Fill in this color from your eyelashes to just a little bit over that crease in the middle of your eyelid. Using your blending brush, soften that line. Now with a firm angled brush, Use that same darker tone to go over that line underneath your eyes. It's always easier to start off lighter and darken as you go than it is to remove color that's accidentally too dark. 
Now, using your eyeliner, we're going to fill in the top line of your lashes, connecting that arrow you previously made to the outer corner of your eye. I used my felt tip liner, but you can use any type of liner you like. I just like the felt tip because it gives more precision when you're creating the line that extends towards your nose. For the bottom lashes, I'm using just a regular pencil liner. Keep it off your waterline because you want that white to stay pretty prominent. What I ended up doing is only the outer edges and capping them together to make my eyes a little bit more almond shaped. Now for the part that 10 year old me with her sticker collection would be thrilled about. I found these stickers at Dollar Tree. You can get them anywhere, steal them from your sibling if they have some. Use a couple of different sizes, you don't want the spots to be too uniform. Place them all around your forehead and place a few on your cheekbone and just around the sides of your face. Now we're just going to leave those alone for a bit. Using some black lipstick, fill in the top half of your lip only. Now using the same foundation you used earlier, cover your bottom lip. To add some more dimension, we're using the ELF pencil, it's matte, in rows, and just fill in the outer corners of your bottom lip. Now add a layer of light brown eyeshadow over those same corners. Now you're going to blend the two together with your foundation. I picked up this eyeshadow at Dollar Tree with the stickers because I didn't mind going through a ton of it in one day. I wasn't sure how much we were going to use for this, and I didn't want to use all of my good stuff in one sitting. Using a sponge, go over the highest part of your forehead with a pretty thick layer, then get a blending foundation brush and blend it down, dipping the brush into the eyeshadow and going over your cheeks and your forehead, and just keep going over all the stickered area until you have the shade that you want. Any darker brown shade of eyeshadow will work. You want to really make sure you get it into your hairline, so take your sponge and really push it up in there. Cover as much of your own skin tone as possible. Next we're going to use a highlighting color. Highlight in between your eyebrows, right above your eyebrows, and right underneath your eye, resting on top of your cheekbone. Next, run the highlighter down the bridge of your nose, making this area especially bright. Put a little bit of highlighter above your lips and on your chin as well. To start on the nose, Draw a line from the base of your nose down to the center of your lip. Take that line from the bottom center of your nose and extend it up to the point of your nose. Now for the top part of the nose, draw the top half of a heart and fill it in. The pencil wasn't filling in as much as I wanted to, so now that my guideline was set, I took the black lipstick and filled it in a lot darker. Cap over that line running down the center of your mouth, and if you feel like your lips have worn off a little, cap those off as well. 
Now taking a sponge, dipped in really dark matte brown eyeshadow, draw two lines down the side of your nose, connecting it with the edges of the heart you drew. Once you have that set, connect that line to the corner of your eyebrow. Next, you're gonna go in with an angled brush dipped into your dark eyeshadow and fill in that line a little bit thicker. Really connecting it into your eyebrows. Fill in your face with brown eyeshadow as needed. You want it to have a nice dark look. Using a flat foundation brush, run a shimmery highlighting color underneath your eye and down the bridge of your nose. Now that we have the outer lines of our nose set, we're gonna make that inner line as bright as possible. Feel free to go over your lip if you need and down your chin as well. Watch out for husbands, they come in and bug you while you're trying to work. Not like you do that every day to him since you work together, but meh, oh well. Now it's time to put on mascara. I don't know why every time I record a video I poke myself in the eye. Maybe I'm thinking too hard, but I always poke myself in the eye. Never when I do it in the morning to get ready when I'm running late and going 100 miles an hour. Only when I'm taking my time do I poke myself. Go figure. Now for the exciting part, peeling off all the stickers. No, we're not gonna leave those on all day. Use a dry paper towel to wipe off any excess foundation off of the brush you used to cover the spots. Then you're gonna blend a little bit of those spots so they don't have such a harsh line around them. Just a few more last minute highlight touch-ups, post stickers. And begrudgingly, you're ready to roll up the turtleneck. I really need to invest in a better brown shirt. Or a brown onesie in the shape of a deer, that would have been beneficial as well. Next, we're gonna roll our hair up into deer ears. You can do these with just about any length that is longer than chin length. Any texture, any color, any style, curly-haired girls, you can do it too. Make a part going down the center of your head. I used a zigzag part so the line wouldn't be so harsh. Now take one side, wrap it away, and use your other side to make a high side ponytail. Then repeat with the other side. And if all of this seems like too much effort, you could always just braid those pigtails, throw in a few scrunchies, and go as Britney during the Baby One More Time video. Cue the absolutely ridiculous dance moves. Seriously guys, turtlenecks are the worst. They are too hot. They should be banned from society. Tease each side of the pigtail until it becomes mostly one moldable shape. Now grab one side of your ponytail and wrap it around your rubber band until you run out of hair. Then secure it with pins and repeat on the other side. Next, you're gonna remember that you needed hairspray and it's not an arm's reach, so you yell for your husband to bring it to you. No worries, he was standing right there so I didn't have to yell very loudly. And then he so kindly decides to help you by spraying it on you. Except he misses and hit your eyeball. 
give your whole head a pretty good spray. While the hairspray is still wet, squeeze the buns to help lock it in place. I found these super cool antlers at Walmart for like three bucks, so I'm gonna use those. They go on your head like a headband. So put the headband on and then push the antlers into the position you want them to sit. And if you're like me and this is the only shirt you could find, don't forget to untuck your turtleneck. And that's how you turn yourself into a deer. Thanks for watching guys. If you liked it, hit thumbs up, share it with your friends, hit subscribe on your way out, have fun and don't poke anybody in the eye with your antlers. And if you like the music you're hearing in the background, check out Ilea Colgan on iTunes. The song is called Be Like You. Thanks again for watching. Bye everyone.